Hi guys, today we are going to make keema paratha. This is one of my favorite. For, for this, we are going to need the following ingredients. To start off with, for making the dough, we are going to need three ingredients. And next, we are going to make the filling. So, to begin with, I am going to take one cup of uh, wheat flour in a mixing bowl. And I am going to add one teaspoon salt. You can add the salt according to your taste and you can skip this step if you don't like adding salt. Then you can add uh, one teaspoon of oil and this is also optional if you are health conscious you can avoid uh, the oil or and the salt. And I am going to mix it with sufficient water to a medium hard dough and I am going to keep that dough aside. And I am going to start making the filling for the keema uh, filling for the paratha. So for this I am going to heat 2 tablespoon of oil in a pan. To this I am going to add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. And I am going to cook it till it starts to splutter. To this I am going to add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and fry it for a while. Next, I am going to add one large onion finely chopped. And I am going to mix it well and cook it till it becomes golden brown in color. To this, I am going to add salt. You can add the salt according to your taste. I am going to mix it well. Now I am going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger finely chopped and green 3 green chilies finely chopped. We are going to mix all this together and let it cook. Next I am going to add 1 tomato finely chopped. And I am going to let this cook till the tomato becomes soft. After this we are going to add all our dry ingredients. First I am going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and I will cook it for a while. Next I am going to add one, one and a half tablespoon of coriander powder. Let us mix it well. To this I am going to add one tablespoon of red chilli powder. Next I am going to ha add half a tablespoon of uh, garam masala powder. Next I am going to add the minced meat. You can use uh, either chicken or any other meat that you prefer. So the cooking process is same for the for all types of meat. And I am going to mix it well and let it cook. Now you can see our minced meat is almost cooked. So to this I am going to add uh, 
special ingredient. It's the meat masala. So this step is purely optional. If you want to uh, skip this step, that's perfectly fine. So, but just for that added taste, I'm going to add one tablespoon of meat, but meat masala. And the last ingredient for the filling is uh, some coriander. And I'm going to fry this well. Now our minced meat is almost cooked, so we are just going to keep it aside to cool off. Now, now I'm going to roll the dough for the paratha. So first I'm going to uh, take a small or a medium sized bowl of dough. Then I'm going to roll it into a small circle. To start off with, uh, first we need to dip it into the dry flour so that it does not uh, stick at the bottom when we are rolling it. To this I'm going to add one tablespoon of the filling and I'm going to fold in the edges of the uh, paratha and I'm going to turn it over and dip it again into the flour. And I'm going to keep the folded edge at the bottom and roll it again but make sure that you press the paratha gently so that the filling does not come out. I'm going to roll it flat. Meanwhile I've heated the skillet so I'm going to transfer it onto the skillet and I'm going to cook all sides and then I'm going to apply some oil on the cooked side as we do with any other paratha it's the same process and you need to press uh, gently on the sides of the paratha so that uh, it gets cooked well evenly You can see our paratha has started getting the small brown spots on top, so it means it's almost cooked. So I'm just going to fry it for a while. Now paratha is cooked, so I'm going to transfer it to a plate and have it with some yogurt. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more recipes. Thank you.